Hey everyone, it's Bailey here at the Future Maker Lab, and today we're going to be building Shang Chi's rings. So today we're talking about 3D printing. You may be thinking to yourself, what is 3D printing? The best analogy I can think of is kind of like Legos. You know how you're building your big Lego castle and you have all the pieces there and you have to put Legos bases one on one on top and you have to have a good support or else it's going to come crumbling. Well, 3D printing is kind of like that as well. See right here is we have the structure, the supports is what it's called and it helps make the outer line stick and stay together and so you can get a nice solid structure. I mean, I'm squeezing this really tight and it's not going to budge. And you can build some things, pretty much anything. It's uh, infinite possibilities. We have a T-Rex, we have Darth Vader. I've built an Infinity Gauntlet right here, back when Endgame came out. All right, this is our 3D printer here at Future Maker. We have a Dremel 3D printer. Now, if you take a look inside, our 3D printer has a couple different parts, but they're all the same across pretty much all 3D printers. Here we have the bed, and the bed is where the print goes, like Darth Vader. It's slowly put layer by layer by the print nozzle. And the print nozzle is fed by the 3D printer filament, and it's fed through there, warmed up, and then put on the bed. Now, the bed is what's different on some 3D printers. Some have glass, some have a warm hot bed, and like ours, we have a removable one that we can just pop the 3D print out. So, but every 3D printer runs off of software. And the software is put into various different types of programs. And everyone is meant to do the same thing. You put it in there and you slice it and prepare it and it'll tell you how long it will take and then it exports it into G-code. And G-code is how the 3D printer gets the instructions on how to build it layer by layer. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go to a place called thingiverse.com. This is where you can go ahead and find all sorts of different prints that have already been made that you can print on your own 3D printer. So what we're gonna do is search for Shang-Chi. And here we go. Here is the print that we have. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and download the files. Alrighty guys, so now we're gonna head to the Dremel slicer tool. A slicer is a tool that will take the file that we downloaded from Thingiverse and convert it into a G-code file, which takes it so that it will break it up layer by layer so the 3D printer can print it. Now you can choose different qualities. We used low quality uh, just to make it faster, but you can do faster speed, higher quality, whatever you think's best. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our file of one of the rings. We're gonna place it on here. See how if it's blue, it's in the center and that's good. If you put it on the edge, it will turn gray and that means it will have problems printing because it's not on the right part of the bed. So now we're gonna go ahead and click prepare on the bottom right and it will tell us how long it will take. This ring by itself will take two hours and 25 minutes. So then you save to removable drive. Each printer is different after this step so go ahead and check your owner's manual and we'll tell you how to go ahead and get your print started. Now that it's done 3D printing, let's go ahead and check it out. Now, as you can see, it's got a lot of detail all the way around. Now remember, you don't have to just print Shang-Chi rings. You can go ahead and think of and find all sorts of things. Things that can help with your everyday life or cool props. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested for more, make sure to follow us here at www.futuremakerlab.com. See you next time. Oh.